on the line Bad bitches, every city in my tribe Look, 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 look behind Booty dominate Um, I need to do my foundation, right? Hi. Hello, welcome. I, I um, actually agree with most of your points, except for the body okay. count doesn't matter. That's the only one I disagree okay. with. Um, I think that it matters okay. for both for both men and women. Although I think it matters a little bit more for women, but I think it needs to be framed in some sort of a context. For instance, I don't think body count matters in determining the value that someone has. Like you could be a wonderful person with a high body count, but when it comes to dating, when it comes to marketplace, like your value in the dating marketplace, I think it does make a difference. Why? Well, um, mainly because men tend to prefer lower body count in general. So if you're trying to date, then typically you wanna kinda of aim for what men's preferences are. That's one. Um, two, um, I disagree. You disagree that, that men don't prefer that? No, I disagree that I give a flying fuck what men prefer. Well, that and that's fine. If you don't care what men want and you want to live single and have cats, that's fine. That's your that's your right. But if you... No, I think men who prefer a lower body count, um, women, you should not date them. If you are ever asked what your body count is on a date, get up and walk out. Never, like... Delete. Well, I don't, delete, I, delete. I don't ask on the first date or even second date or even third oh, date. At all. At all. If you are ever asked your body count by a man, delete his so, number instantly. So what women tend to do these days is they just say, they tend to demonize men's preferences. They can have all the preferences they want. I want a guy who's tall. I want a guy who makes this money. But if a man says, I want a, a girl that's not very promiscuous, he's insecure. It's what women tend to do. Well, they you just are. Say you're insecure. No, that's just what you're saying. We can have preferences no, without you being are insecure. insecure. So you, you are insecure. Wait, let me respond. Go ahead. You are insecure, number one, if you're a man and body count matters to you. Number two, this is not a preference that men have. This is a philosophy that they have into what kind of person you are based on one data point. And this data point that they have is also tied to controlling women's behavior. That's not true. Absolutely. You want her to not engage with other men even prior to meeting you. You want her to exhibit a certain behavior that is your preference prior to even knowing her. So, yes. And your philosophy behind because this is, is that you will get better outcomes for yourself. But she is an autonomous being who has a body that she has the liberty to experience pleasure and joy from. And that's not yours to take from her. I'm trying to let you finish. Are you done? I, are you trying really hard that though? No, I'm, I listened. I soaked it all in. I'm trying not to interrupt no, you. No, and I think you true. waited for your turn to speak, but go I ahead. did, but I still heard you because I've heard that argument before. But you're trying to say that it's a control thing and that we're trying to take it from you. I don't care what you do in your life. You can do whatever it is you want to do. It's just our preference because if you have a lower body count, it tends to show that you have better morals. You have a better ability to say that no is to a men. philosophy. Have, well, that's fine, but it's a philosophy as a preference. We prefer it that. Is not. Could... It is not a philosophy as a preference. If I were to say I preferred brunettes over blondes, that is a preference. I am not saying that brunettes are supreme. And if you date a blonde, then you don't have morals. They don't have compass. They won't per propagate the nuclear family. That is a preference. Yours is a philosophy. And men hide behind the saying, it is a preference when it, it's it not. Is a, it is though, because- It's I'm not, choosing. it is a philosophy. They, your philosophy is that if you have less partners you are a more moral person therefore you are better where my preference between brunettes and blondes i'm not saying people who have brown hair are better it's just what i prefer visually i'm not saying you're less of a person or you have less value you are. as a, as you a are. person no i'm not i'm saying in the dating market you're saying you have less morals if someone has less morals well 
I mean, that's arguable. You could say that if you, if you don't have the ability to tell more men no and you just rack up body after body after body after body, it's going to show that you have a higher likelihood of cheating, you have a higher likelihood of infidelity, and you have a higher likelihood of, of, of I, don't know. Not- I have a high body count and I've never cheated. Well, you might be the exception to the rule, but there's studies. For instance, the Institute for Family Studies shows that the The higher your sexual Institute for Family Studies, I believe, is either a right wing or Christian. Um, So, is there something wrong with Christian morals? And yes, they are. They are heavily biased. Yes. Well, that okay. So, (laughs) that's most of the country. That's most men in the country. (laughs) No, it's well. I don't know if it's it's sure most men, but (laughs) again, no, that's not a valuable source. That's super biased. so I know because Christian values are, are Christian. very much intrinsically based on purity culture, which I think is is very harmful for men and for women and for boys and for girls. I think having a high body count even for men is harmful. What it tends to do is you have the higher likelihood to compare that partner sexually to your new partner. It makes pair bonding harder and it, it raises the chance of infidelity. And how in your world is any of those a good thing? So, so at what number, what number are you not able to pair bond? Are you more likely to cheat? Like what number is that? I'm not sure that there's an exact number, but that doesn't mean oh, that weird. There's, there, there's a big difference between having four partners and 500. Okay. Do you it, think the average person number. has 500 partners? No, but I know a lot of girls over, over 40 and 50 by the time they're 30. And that's pretty high. Okay. It used not to be that way. Then like don't it's, date it's them. Getting worse and worse. I'm not, and I'm just saying Great. it doesn't devalue you as a person. But in the dating yeah, you marketplace, are. you're saying you, you have you are a less moral person, and you're more likely to cheat. You are devaluing that person. In the dating marketplace, I am absolutely in the dating. Yeah, marketplace. so don't say you're not when you are. Right, but as a human being who just lives life, you might be a wonderful person. But in the dating marketplace, you are a human being. And are a wonderful person that translate in, that translates into the dating market. But it's a, if you don't want to date, you don't have to, and then you're fine. You're a wonderful person. I'm saying if you're looking to date and marry, if you're looking to marry, most men have that as a preference because it means you're a better I, partner, potential no, for a better I, partner, no. potential for a better partner. And no, I, I don't think body count has anything to do with your capacity. Because because I would argue the fact that you care about body count makes you a bad partner. Because well, you are not here to... Well, if we look, I, I think I can actually substantiate this in evidence. If we look at the qualities that I would, that anyone would value in a partner, that would be respect, that would be open-mindedness, and that would be communication. So if I communicated and you're open-minded and you respect me, you can understand certain things about my past and that my past isn't who I am today. But you don't, you don't want to do that. You are here to tell me who I am based on what you believe in my past actions. So therefore you are not open-minded, you don't respect me, and you're not willing for me to communicate to you. So right there shows me that you are not a long-term thinker and someone who I would um, consider for a long-term committed relationship that would lead to happiness fulfillment. Okay, that's fine. So you have some other people in there saying sources for this. I'm not going to do your your job for you, but if you want, you can go online and look at Medical Express predictors for that's not you and doing their that's not you doing their job for them. That's you substantiating your claim. Oh, if they fine. were to make a claim, you want me to? And Here we go, one then. second, if they were, one second, Academy. if they were to make a claim, and then you were to say, "What is your source?" and then they were to say, "Look it up," that would be you doing their homework. But what you're saying they're doing, you're actually doing. If they're so curious, and I, I love when it, men project. It's like a look. it's like a king for me. If they want to find out, they can easily go look. Like it's not it's, it's not and hard to Google. And if you know, you can, can easily cite it. Okay, f- I'm not. I don't have it in front of me. But uh, here, one second. Uh, here, here we go. There's a. Let me Google it. Medical Express predictors for infidelity and well, divorce. You know, I, I don't. I don't care. Divorce with. <laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I didn't ask you. To, they're all telling you I, in the comments. Are you, deba- site, are you here site. to debate the comments? Wow. Well, or are you no, here to debate? I guess, I guess not. But my point, my, my point still stands. There's lots of research out there that shows the higher the body count, the more likely the chance of divorce or infidelity. 
you can't like dispute that. And also just use a little common sense. If you have a lot of partners, the chances that you're going to compare your partner's sexual uh, ability in bed, you're going to, the higher possibility to be disappointed because you have more people to compare them to. And like the stats show, if a virgin goes into marriage. I think you just showed me why you're insecure. Why am I insecure? Because you don't want to be compared to other men. <laughs> so this one more time for like the 50th time, most men in the country are Christian and have this preference. So if you want to exclude, you know, three fourths of the men in the country, that's fine. You know, good luck finding the needle in a haystack who doesn't care about body count. Good luck with that. Um, well, I, I think uh, we should actually wish you good luck. Because if we look at what's happening currently in society, there is a rise of single lonely men. And there is a rise because men are not pivoting to what is being asked of in a healthy social relationship where women are less dependent on them. There's also so a rise in women, women would too. rather remain single than be married to men like you. Yeah, and there's also less women getting married because they can't because they rack up such high body counts or they're aggressive or they're too feminist or they're too angry or they're too masculine. And that's not what men want. Men want peace, easygoing, non-promiscuous women. We don't want to have to worry about who she's going to go out with in the club. I think you literally just told on yourself. That's fine. And I don't care. You can I, it however I you it. want. Like, but it's I am most here men for want. it. That's fine. Yeah, you don't want women to be autonomous, independent, Free thinking humans. You want them to that. be. You're putting words yeah, in my you mouth. do. You're putting words you in want them mouth. to be what you want because at the center of the relationship, you have put yourself You're and male pleasure. You're putting words in my no, mouth. I didn't no, say no, no. You said, you said feminist. Those things. I didn't you say said feminist. Here, go ahead. You want to talk, so you go ahead. You, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. You said feminist. <laughs> you said. Um, masculine as if somehow like are you repelled by masculinity in what context in women yes masculinity tends in to be like in aggress what context what what traits aggressive and argumentative non soft non why are we not assertive going. what why aren't we just being assertive what's wrong with aggression in women if it's okay in men what's wrong with it in women because it's not feminine it's that's not what men want men don't want to come home and he, have to uh, argue uh, so i see so off. you constructed what we need to be gotcha so yes it's not about autonomy for you this is in relationship we're still in relationship and dating territory i don't care what you do in your free time with all your cats i don't care but if you're trying to date and you're trying to marry, the reason that so many divorces is happening, the reason so many men aren't getting married, the reason women aren't getting married is because we're not seeing eye to eye because we're not facing these traditional values that we used to have. Yes, because traditional out. values, traditional values put men at the center of the experience and take autonomy, self-determination and independence away from women. And now that we have gained more economic leverage in society and don't need to depend on men, for monetary income, housing, even a baby, uh, we do not need to participate in relationships that benefit you. So see, women's see, standards have, have gotten higher. Men are not pivoting and therefore women are being are happier being alone than being in marriages. If you look at marriages, a majority of the reason why marriages fail is because women make up the bulk of unpaid labor. It is harder for women, women to women exist in marriages than to be by themselves. Women are the ones causing the, they take a vow to stay together Just forever, because women, women initiate leaving. divorce does not mean it's women's fault. Men can be cheating. It's all women's fault. Of course, some men are assholes. I, and they I get think tired. They women leave. are just initiating divorce because men are too lazy to fill out paperwork. Oh, uh, blame it on all the men. Typical feminist response. It's always a man's fault. Well, no, it's because we can see that when it comes to like, uh, so the um, American uh, Bureau of Labor and Statistics did a survey where they analyzed married couples. Um, when it came to paid labor, so working, men clocked in about 80 hours more a year, so two weeks. When it came to leisure time, men clocked in 240 hours more. So women are taking on an extra month of labor, whether that is child rearing, house maintenance, than men. 
and <laughs> they are not receiving the help and they're working just as much as men. What's your point? I'm saying that the division of labor is not equal within a relationship and essentially having kids and a husband is having an extra kid and women would rather just take care of the kids and ditch the husband, the extra kid. You know what? It's funny because most of the women I talk to, they typically want a man that leads or makes money or provides. Sure. They want to be able to get I'm their sure own job. I'm sure most and make their women in your church agree with your, with Which your is sex the majority point. of women in the, in the world. The majority of women are Christian and traditional. The appeal to majority fallacy does not make your viewpoint correct. No, and the fact that you just keep saying a majority of people agree with me. When it comes to um, the dating marketplace, this is what Again, I don't need to bend to the will of men so that I can be with someone who doesn't make me happy. You don't have to bend to anyone's will unless you're trying to get That's married. That's what you want. You want unless women to bend to the will of men. There, no. Unless you want to get married. There it is. Do what we say or we won't marry you. Thank you so I, much, Zach. I, don't I think that's a I'm great saying, note to add. Conversation on. It is 12.32 my time and I need to go. Um, I will say that last debate was fun. You were fun, Zach. Just red flag after red flag. Mm. Music to my ears. I just need to let you talk and we can see why your relationship philosophy is flawed, is harmful, is dangerous, and again, puts men at the center of it. Um, so yes, <laughs> ladies, I think you got a crash course in who not to date. And I do want to add one more thing before I go. Um, from my experience, men who have embraced femininity, um, I think love women better. Uh, we can say that e even um, these can fall like uh, within gay men, um, within within cis het men as well. Um, but when you have these traditional views of women being submissive to you, you wanting to control their behavior, they need to fit within a certain narrative. You are not loving them. You are manipulating to be what you want. And I think that's why... Um, like fundamentally, <laughs> uh, this is what misogyny is. Misogyny is the almost police force within the patriarchy to control women into this box. So men, if you wanna participate in the dating market, embrace femininity. I'm so fucking cute, bitch. I'm so fucking cute.